Hello there, Croissant, and welcome. I'm Shadow Lemux, and I'm back here on Wreckfest to do the new seasonal challenge for the solo tournament. I had hoped that the solo tournament would actually be done by now. We'd be back to the normal community based score challenges, but after checking on Bugbear's Twitter, I can see this is going to go on for a while. They're going through some of the old favourite challenges so the newer players can have a go and this one is the checkpoint chase and it is indeed a old and classic challenge that Wreckfest like to offer. The aim of the game here is to get through the, che to the next checkpoint as quickly as possible which will extend your time. You've got a score that's constantly going up as you can see in the top left corner and the aim is to keep going for as long as possible to build that score as high as possible. You've got these taxis going around the course very slowly and in a very consistent slow pace and they will cause the majority of your problems because you will try and attack this as if you were doing hot laps but you will occasionally come across a car just in the wrong place at the wrong time and you'll have to adjust your line accordingly. There's realistic damage on so be careful when you are uh, making contact with any of the cars or barriers. You can do some real damage to your car and end your run before it's even started. But saying that at some of the slower points, especially the big loop that we're going to come up to, I say the big loop, the little loop we're going to come up to now, if you get the chance to use one of the AI cars to aid your way around the corner, then I suggest you do so. But be careful, it would be very easy to damage your wheel, damage the suspension, and that will be the end of your run. And that is really all there is to it. It then becomes a case of learning to drive this course as quickly as you can. Although, as you can see from the video here, this isn't exactly a perfect run for me, but it's still a run that's good enough to get gold. So I'll talk you through a lap now. And you're going to break just after those sort of zebra crossing markings, just down to four, and then just creeping the inside. You can cut that corner quite heavily if you wish carry more speed through. Uh, with this corner you either want to cut it completely like I did or you just want to ride the curb just a bit. If you're sort of half and half the car will just flip over and flip into the wall that's on your left. For that uh, roundabout you're braking just as you get to the crossover, drop down to second and then power through. A little drop down to fourth here. I have to take a slightly offline because of the car there blocking what would be my normal line and then you can cut that corner quite heavily as well but you do run the risk of bouncing yourself off into the wall on the left or if there's a car there bouncing yourself into the other car and it is a pretty straightforward course and, uh, I'm making a meal out of doing this quite well but after two and a half laps there you go, you get your gold, it's just a case of keep running. You be, as you can tell from the length of the video, I've actually, there's a lot more to this, I've actually done another run which is cleaner and better than this one and higher scoring as well, just to give you a contrast between the two. And there are outtakes this week. Uh, the last few weeks, because the score I've been chasing has been a score set by the developer. This don't don't want to be too boastful, but it's been quite it's been very easy to achieve, and I haven't had to do many runs and haven't had many failures because I haven't been pushing myself. But this challenge is different. The taxis that are driving around will cause you so many problems that you just you don't see it coming and that's the trick here it's not learning the course not learning how to drive it fast it's learning how to adjust your lines and your routes because of these taxis 
and I'll leave you now with my second much better run and some outtakes as well. I uh, hope you are uh, enjoying the solo tournament and if there's anyone watching that happens to be a newer player, I hope you take advantage of this opportunity to get some much needed fame points so you can get some of those nice overpowered cars there in the fame store. So I'll just leave you with the rest of this and I want to say Dioch and thank you for watching.